people of Ghana and all over the world. Welcome to the Sesame Show here on SJ Click TV. My name is Sesame. Well, as I always do, I like to share my motivational dose with you. Think for yourself, listen to your heart, and tune into your gut. And of course, subscribe to us on YouTube, SJ Click TV. You can follow us on any of the social media network. Well, today, I'm one of Ghana's finest is Maoli from Maoli. The reason why I said he's Maoli from Maoli is that he went to Maoli school and his name is Maoli. Maoli, yeah. you're welcome to this is my yeah, show. Yes, everything fine? Yeah, everything is good. Cool. Great, 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 great. So tell us a bit about yourself. Talk yeah, something uh, small. Yes, yeah, so I'm um, Oscar Kobla Maoli. I'm a Ghanaian multidisciplinary artist. I'm a Nigerian by tribe and I'm based in Accra, Ghana. So yeah, let me first talk about what I do. So yeah. when, when you mention multidisciplinary artists, yeah, okay. mostly it sounds big, but let me just limit it. It's more like someone who is versatile. Okay. With my body of art, I like to explore digital painting, canvas painting, sculpture, like everything that has to do with diversity in art, and then incorporate it to create a particular like subject matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. I like to explore different varieties in art and then incorporate them to create one particular subject matter. Mm -hmm. I call my art Anansenism. Mm -hmm. Okay. Basically, Anansenism um, explores, it's more like an experimentation and exploration of um, my own traditional patterns and incorporating it in class symbology, which was inspired by the mythical Ghanaian character we all know as Quick One and Say. Despite the fact that it has its mischievous characteristics and qualities as we stay with it, it's characteristics. Yeah. I like to look at the intricate value of the spider's web making process that I incorporate into my process which I call an answer. Mm. So I also draw inspiration from um, the Kinti weaving process mm. which is similar to the spider weaving yeah, okay. process you get it. So I like to have the history of my background incorporated into my art. So I researched into the Kente history, which is associated with the accounts of Ghana and yep. the Botarians too, they are also like yeah, in the yeah, production yeah, 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 so yeah. I got teammate. Exactly. So I like to incorporate both ideals into my work process. Okay. So that's basically the concept of an mm. But I didn't just stay there. Okay. I'm looking at how to further explain or further um, explore my work process. So I like to incorporate ideas of like racial subjects, okay. subjects of global forefront and all that. Okay. So we are looking at black diversity, we are okay. looking at um, issues related to skin color, like um, to, you know recent happenings like the George Floyd yeah. issue that race, race racial yeah. issues and all that. So we are looking at how to put black identity on the global forefront and all that. Mm -hmm. So basically those are the subjects matter my artworks basically mm -hmm. um, cuts across or looks at. Okay, so uh, I would like to get uh, your opinion on this. Is it the women empowerment? Yeah. Is it that inspiration? Is it coming from the fact that your, um, sorry to say, your mom is a single parent? Um, I would say basically, um, most of my work I like to explore deals with the environment where I grew up. Okay. So that has also been like an impact in my work process. Okay. So I think growing up with her being attached to her, looking at her struggles and all that, some way somehow inspired my work process and made me look at things in a different direction. Okay. So I like to incorporate that notion into, into your my works. Ads. Yeah. Okay. Okay, one one uh, when I went onto your Instagram yeah. page I saw so many works. Yeah. You paint a lot of ladies, young ladies, mm -hmm. succulent ladies, all right? And how comfortable is that? Don't you catch feelings when you're painting them? Um, I believe if you're creative, you should know what your limits are. Okay. You should know what you're about. Okay. If you should uh, have like different should I say perceptions about why you are creating, you end up deviating to the particular cause of why you are doing what you are creating or why you are making what you are making. Okay. So if you have, like you have good focus, mm -hmm. you end up neglecting obstacles or not looking at things to actually disturb your practice or anything. So I don't really look at that as a hindrance when creating. Okay, that, 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 that's, that's, <laughs> that, that's great. <laughs> that's great because some of those pictures are very 
provocative. Oh. Uh, in it. Well, that, that is supposed to be interactive. So. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I, 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 I like them. I like, I like them. Yeah. I, I like them. I like them. You, uh, you said you would like to go on a tour to encourage young artists yeah. to. Um, how far is the plan of all of that? Yes, so currently I'm trying my best to set myself up okay. to um, still explore more ideas and all that. But you know, everything is like a step by step process. Okay. So eventually, as a creator, I'm very young and I'm still trying to push the um, African and Ghanaian at my arts into the global space. Okay. So even if I'm not able to. Um, go about the project I want to in terms of pushing art into the industry. I should my art should actually serve as an inspiration to the young ones out there to also what put up their ways to also create more because it's all about your passion, it's all about the creativity and how best you want to push it out there that will make you actually come I could go on it well but if you are not having a passion for yeah. for it you end up yeah. just yeah. ignoring yeah. it. So yeah. that's basically it. Okay. Okay. Maoli school does that have impact on do you, you do visual art at Mali, right? Yes, I studied visual art. I studied um, painting and sculpture. Okay, so now you are done with Takradi uh, Technical University. Yes, so you, I, what, what did you do at Takradi? So I did my HND in Takradi Technical University. In, uh, yeah, I did I, um, commercial art and painting. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So who, like in a person, not like things around you. Who is your inspiration? Like, is it Nubuke? Well, who no, is in your... terms of like gallery or... Yeah. Okay, so, in relate, like, in related to art, I'm mostly um, inspired by the environment where I find myself. Mm -hmm. So, I like to visit spaces that encourage creativity, the people I see around me that are pushing, literally inspire me. I like to um, move around, basically like, Everywhere, wherever the inspiration falls, my friend is out there. It just works out in the yeah. Okay, so today you did a painting on Made in Ghana. Yeah. So, on an average, how long does it take you to finish a painting? For? Um, I think it depends on the inspiration at the time. Okay. I could move very fast. Okay. Very fast, like 30 to 20 minutes. Okay. But sometimes it depends on like the connection you have with the personality. Okay. Sometimes the spirit actually inspires you to move faster. Like mm -hmm. the pattern just comes like grace. You get it just mm -hmm. comes like that. But sometimes so you meet some people and then their inner spirit is there, so you can't really feel the connection. The, the vibe. Yeah. Oh. oh, I see. I see. So. When, is it when you look at the character in front of you that inspired you? Yes, I'll So you don't have a premeditated, okay, like I'm going to paint oh, me like in a form of a Kokwana that, that died or something? Oh, no, no, no. The pattern just comes. But as I mentioned, it's more like based on the person's like atmosphere mm -hmm. around the person. Inspires how your patterns play, come to play and all that. Okay. When I made mention of the fact that I'm interviewing, I'm talking to you today. Yeah. One lady in my office want me want to know: Are you a traditionalist? Because there's there's a lot of deity in your works, so they want to know whether you're a traditionalist. Oh, I I think that topic is interesting. That's one of the basic like subjects matter I'm trying to tackle in my body of work. Mm -hmm. So um, let me reference something. When I was a kid, mm -hmm. I used to get really scared about. My, African sculpture works like artifacts. Okay. I remember one time in my father's like process, I was looking through and I saw this wooden like door. Yeah. Back then I had no knowledge about what it entailed, like its significant society. So it was later that I went to Maori school and I read about African history that I got to understand that oh, so this door literally has significance. You get it? Okay. It's just not something that is there to like, literally scare people. Okay. It's there for a purpose. And then that door, like, it turns to me that it was a kwaba door. Okay. So the kwaba door is basically like a fertility door for women that are buried in society. It's just like a door that is given to them to actually, um, they getting blessed by our ancestors or with the belief that they have, just like Christians have faith 
in religion and all that mm. with that faith you're able to have kids yep. so I, I i tend to explore concepts like this because if i had the knowledge back then i'm not sure i would have been scared of yeah. such an artifact so i like to incorporate like this um artifacts in my work so it becomes like something normal that people literally see around so that you get used to them rather it shouldn't be hidden behind closed doors because you go to uh, MoMA like the museums, yeah, museums yeah. other museums in um, Europe and other things. They are mounting this artifact out there. Yeah. They are learning about this yeah. history, but we as Africans, we are scared of them. We are scared of them. We are not even going close to them. We don't even know what they entail, the history behind them, what it, is, it describes who we are as a people and all that. It's back with um, deep rooted history. And then it's wonderful if we, we educate our youngsters about our culture and all that. So basically, that's what I like to use. So, okay, so, so the answer I'm supposed to give back to the lady is uh, in affirmative, we are traditionalist. No, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian by birth, by, by faith and religion, too. Okay. But then, this is who I am, an African. This is my culture. I can't just neglect uh, my my identity and then. That's why I find that it's a borrowed faith. Yeah. I still have something I can hold on to to yeah. identify who I am as a black person. So, I get you. The talk uh, success and uh, YouTube gave you a plug certificate to see like the good work you are doing. Right, right. The plug show to the camera and tell yes, your so fans what is that is about. Um, this plug I uh, came last week. Oh wow! From YouTube and I'll remove it. Then. I've been planning to actually create an unboxing video, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just that when I go to, when I go to wedding gardens, we unbox it. Uh, yeah. So yeah, let me just go with it. Okay. I try to create. So this is from YouTube. Um, let me read what's. Oh sure, sure. So, do you remember your first subscriber? Yes, I do. Basically, mm -hmm. I'll I'll talk about how it all started here. Yeah. So your hundred. Yes, I do. Your thousand subscriber. Yes. Chances are you do, and we know that you definitely remember your 100,000 subscriber. Your fans may have found you while searching YouTube. Not about you through a friend, or maybe showed up as a commented video. No matter how they come, they came to your channel, fans stayed and their numbers increased because of your unique voice and excitement of being part of the growing community that you established. We are true to see the development of community and are proud to honor your impressive milestone of reaching 100,000 subscribers. With a Silver Creator Award, congratulations! We know that you have many more stories to share with your community. Yes, I'm working on that, and we know that your fans can't wait for you to engage and amaze them even more with your commitment and creativity. So keep creating, keep building. We can't wait to see what you do next, and we are here to support you along the way. And who knows? When you reach your million subscriber, we may just write to you and ask do you remember your hundred subscriber yours sincerely from Susan yeah Susan Wadrick no, uh, okay. <laughs> so basically yeah, okay. this was the letter and I'm gonna wrap in the plate for yeah. yeah so that's my silver award for YouTube and I want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers you know when I started YouTube I literally didn't have any idea about how to go about the space oh, okay. but then i think consistency okay consistency and, yeah. yeah and then um my community made it happen no, okay yeah i i mean yeah, it's, it's quite it's quite um impressive overwhelmed. to see a young Ghanaian artist like creating something and people actually are setting the exactly so this is my youtube award and I would like to say a big thank you to my community. So I finally unwrapped it. Meaning that I actually did it first. <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, that is it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, nice, nice, nice. Go for commercial, we will be right back. Dude. So yeah. What's up? Have you know, Charlie, we finished, um, it was a wrap. Uh, so yeah, everything is set and nice, you understand? Uh, my brother put me on, shout out to my young guys. We did together, so yeah. I didn't look more after them. That is it. That is it. So, yeah, man.
come back. This is the mystery question segment of the show. So if you are sick, would you like to go for a orthodox medicine or a, a, a traditional uh, medicine? I know, I know, I like, I like history, I like history, I like African art, but personally, orthodox, like traditional medicine is quite bitter for myself. So I'll, I'll go for the modern way of medicine. Okay, so if like you have a bowl of fufu, what do you like to take like as appetizer? Black tonic or appetition? Uh, I don't drink so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Myself, I don't even like really like to I prefer banku. You okay. like banku or okay. cake? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> okay, so you're supposed to cross a river. The uh, options available to you is that you sit on the back of a hippopotamus or a crocodile. Which one will you choose? Uh, I would prefer a crocodile. Crocodile? Yeah. Okay. Uh, choice of uh, pet. Python or Cobra? Eh, hey, Python. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that does it for the mystery segment of the show. Mauli. Hi. As you say, you draw some nice designs for this. What inspired this design? So basically, uh, let me first introduce, like, introduce myself. Okay. So I'm um, Oscar Kobla Mauli. I'm a Guardian Water Disciplinary Artist. When I say multidisciplinary, it simply means someone who is quite versatile. I'm not limited to like one way of producing art. Yep. So my art cuts across like digital painting, canvas painting, sculpture, okay. and then any other medium which I can use to express myself in relation to art. Okay. So yeah, let me go to my patterns. So I call my patterns Anansanism. Okay. It was basically inspired by the mythical Ghanaian character, quick one and say, okay. as you already know. So when you look at the spider's make, um, web making process, <laughs> you see that the spider has like that kind of, no. when you look at these patterns, it creates that kind like of that web. Yes, web okay. looking process of a spider. So okay. I like to incorporate um, Edinkra okay. symbols in my work process, okay. which I call an So it's just like a fusion of Edinkra symbology in my, in my own personal patterns I create. In a, in a syncopated manner to create this whole process. So that's why I paint on the human skin, but then I just don't like to leave it there like that. So I like to work in a conceptual way, a format. So it's more like with the patterns and then back with deep rooted history, African history, and then conceptual photography to talk about happenings in society and all that. We are looking at talking about um, issues of identity, okay, empowerment and all this in society. So basically that's the idea behind why creating all that. Okay. So you are trying to tell me you are turning made in Ghana into Anansi today. Uh, not basically that. <laughs> you know, made in Ghana itself is like a brand on its own. Oh, yeah, but then course. art should uh, be able to cut across like different, it should be able to bridge the, that gap. So he's a long term friend and then I just wanted to create something with my own body of art okay. in regards to his brand. So we are creating something more concentrated in relative to our background and then his brand. Okay. So that's what this um, shoot is going to be about. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's great. That's great. So, Maori or Yunga art? Okay. What What's the meaning of Yunga art? Um, so Yunga is like my own subtle way of, um, should I say, expressing that notion of longevity. Like, okay, you're creating that impression of longevity in someone's life. So when I started. Um, looking for a brand name to represent my inspiration. Okay. Um, I think I just wanted to use my heart as a therapy to create that kind of impression that the elderly can also feel young when they see artworks and all that. So that's what brought about the, the name Young Art. Okay, okay, great. Let's talk to us about the future for Young Art and then, and then how you intend to rake in your, your, your fans into your work going yes. forward. Yes, yeah, so um, recently, I think this week, I had like um, an initi initiative I wanted to embark on. I've already started. I started at NFT, I started at Mint, try to listen on Mint 10 on okay. this Web3 platform okay. because it's a growing platform okay. and then a lot of people need to go on there. So I have some of my works listed on OpenSea. Okay. I also have um, works. It's been exhibited at South Africa, oh, wow. so if you want prints, you can actually reach out to the gallery. You can find it. Uh, we can find a link tree to all this. Uh, what's the name? I've mentioned. Oh, yes. 
so you can get access to my prints you can get to get nft like non-fungible tokens on my link tree and all that okay so so your social media handle so, so um, you can find me on instagram or basically search me on google oscar kobla maoliaoku and you'll find all my you'll find my knowledge panel you'll find all my social media handles on there but you can check out my website to yunga at dot com okay if one but like we, uh, so that does it uh we just wrap up with the youngest finest artist here in ghana maoli is a great talent go and check his work out on any of the social media platforms younger art or maoli oscar maoli aoku and then you're good to go my name is ceci i'll see you in the cup keep the faith bye bye